And I can't tell you how much it was scary for people to see them running and confused and they don't know what to do. And I still ask myself, is it really attacks on Hamas government or it is just attack to the people as they think that they elected Hamas as a government? It is still, as a Palestinian, I don't believe that. I'm 27 years old. I consider myself 270 anyway. <laughs> but as a Palestinian who grew up there, I don't believe this at all because I can't see the changes of the Israelis' policy. I can't see it every day. I can't see it of the way that they treat the Palestinians in the way how it started in 2000, in the second intifada when they stopped most of the workers from Gaza Strip to work in West Bank or Ramallah. I see it from the way that they started to behave against the Palestinians. I started to see it afterward, after Hamas got elected. Everything should be closed. Now when we use the excuse that Hamas is on power, so that's our excuse. But for, for me as Palestinian, no. I felt it for years and years and years. And uh, I don't know how it's going to end, but it will, if some people were at, for another people. You don't need to react for the Palestinians' government, but react for the people. They are like you. They are not, how many members of Hamas government? 50,000, 100,000? But Gaza Strip is 1.5 million. These people need you to react and help. They don't, I, I, I'm not, talking about Hamas still, but the people need help. The majority of them now, they have no work, they lost their homes, their children, their families, and then what? Today, they stood fast, but tomorrow, they will turn for something else. And I hope we don't need this stage to happen. We need to stop that before it happens. Because if we stop it now, by justice, and peace, it will not get worse in the future. And um, that's what I think we need to do, just help and stop this genocide before it's get bit bigger and more people get hurt because it's affect other people around. Thanks a lot. <laughs>